आज भारत ने पेट्रोल में 10 प्रतिशत इथेनॉल ब्लेंडिंग के लक्ष्य को प्राप्त कर लिया बट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज एथेनॉल ब्लेंडिंग एंड वाई इज इट इम्पोर्टेंट लेट्स ब्रेक इट डाउन About 85% of India's oil requirements for the transportation sector are met through imports. As the number of vehicles increases, this dependence on imports is expected to rise. The solution: utilizing domestic resources more and reducing imports. India's successful E20 program could save around 4 billion dollars annually, approximately 30,000 crore rupees. Now, blending domestically produced ethanol, a biofuel, with imported petrol helps the government in decreasing its import bill now let's examine the industry and user perspective on ethanol blending the petrol used in vehicles either contains 10% ethanol or 20% in the case of e20 the advantages of ethanol include supporting complete combustion emitting less carbon monoxide and fewer hydrocarbon emissions moreover ethanol possesses a higher octane number than gasoline contributing to its use in engines to enhance the anti-knock phenomenon however a major challenge arises from the fact that most ethanol production currently relies on water intensive crops like sugarcane or rice so to achieve the 2025 target of 20% blending the niti aayog estimates that india will require 1400 crore liters of ethanol now this calls for a significant increase in sugar production but to escalate ethanol blending the government needs to substantially enhance ethanol production while addressing water scarcity issues so how will the government tackle this challenge to avoid high import bills explore in depth explanation on business standards the morning show december 12th episode for more such news views and insights follow and subscribe to business standard